how to throw full drinks. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is difficult, this is advanced flare bartending, but knowing a couple of little tips and tricks along the way will definitely make it easier for you. We're gonna start with the highball because that's probably the cocktail which, or the drink or the glass that most people are gonna be using behind their bar. The trick with throwing full drinks is full on control over what you're doing. So with a highball, you can't spin it like this. You gotta keep the drink upright, okay? And as flat as you can. Flat means you throw the object up straight and it doesn't spin on its axis. So first of all, you need a lot of ice in there. First thing you wanna start doing is practicing to throw it just with ice. Pretty easy. So if you can do it with ice, you can do it with a full drink. It's just about confidence. And you're gonna learn how to catch it behind your back. And I'm gonna show you how to catch it on your arm, on your hand, on your arm, back on your hand, and then... The good old slide out. So let's get ourselves a nice real drink in there. Some ginger beer. What I can already see is that I need more ice. Because ice keeps everything together. And uh, then you're gonna put a straw in it. And we don't need a garnish right about now. Now some people throw from here and lift up behind their back. But I like to throw up like this. Whoop. And down behind my back. If you notice, I just go for it. I don't think about it, I don't worry about it. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But you just have to go for it. Whew. If you want a good top tip when learning this move, if you're doing a Long Island iced tea that has a top of Coca-Cola, so fill up full of ice, pour the Long Island iced tea out, but don't put the Coca-Cola on. Throw the Long Island without the Coke, then top up with Coke afterwards. That way you've got yourself a nice window on the cocktail, so you get less chance of spilling it. The catch on the back of the hand, I'd recommend giving the bottom of the glass a bit of a clean. And then it's just, it's a similar kind of throw. You've got to throw up. So you want to throw up. And notice how I'm not throwing it very high. It's just up to here, and then my hand is underneath. So, there we go. Now, the hard one is getting it on your arm. And that is the same throw, and I'm using my knees to throw up. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw up the same amount of distance, turn my hand out, put my arm in place. It's much harder. Ooh, I've got a little bit of spillage, but it's okay. And then we're going back. I actually find it easier to go back from the arm to the hand. All right, and then from here, you wanna get the glass onto your fingertips as much as possible, so. <laughs> drops out onto the bar top like that. The next one is with a martini. Now, this is just straight vodka. I mean, I didn't really make a real martini. I just poured vodka into a martini glass to show you how to do it. And what you're gonna do, balance it gently, and then, whoosh, whoosh, you gotta flip it around like that. Oh. So this one is super duper easy to perfect. What I've done with this one is that, I don't know if you can see it, but I've left a little hole, because basically, I'll just show you. Cling film. So I get myself a piece of cling film like this, stretch it out and place it over the top of the glass like so. Tear away the excess and just tidy that up. Remove said cling film. Oh, I've got a little bit left. And then you should end up with a glass which looks like it's got no top, but Oh shit, that's, that's just a little hole on the side. Now, 
If you do end up with a slight hole on the side, I've messed this one up already, but if you do end up with a tiny hole on the side, it actually adds to the, to the realness of what you're doing because you'll end up with a little bit of spill like I did, which makes it look more real. But obviously, as we know, it's just cling film on top. Right, pina colada over the shoulder. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is a hard one to get, and you can't flip it like this. Well, you can if, if you're lucky, but the way I did it, I'm swinging it like this so the, the, the pina colada doesn't spill. And then you've got to keep that rhythm when you come and do the move. Oh, Ooh, a little bit of weed comes out each time. But mm, to show you it's a real pina colada, look, it is. Mm, mm, mm. Um, sorry, I've got, I've got to teach you how to do it. So before you get to a full drink, what you need to start doing is, is getting a glass and filling it full of crushed ice and then just put it down. And what that's going to do is going to give you the weight of the cocktail. Then you can start practicing that swing, okay? And then you, what you can do is do a throw like this. So you learn how to cushion the catch and you'll get used to feeling the, the weight of the cocktail. Then throw it over and just catch it. And you don't want to have any spin on the glass because as soon as you spin, what you're going to end up doing is you're transferring the force which is pushing everything down and making it come out. Basically, it's like this. When you're flipping a frozen cocktail, the more frozen it is, the easier it's going to be to flip because it's going to stay more solid inside the drink. Now, if I get better, That is how you flip a full frozen drink. Right, the last flip that I want to show you is the espresso martini flip. I'm going to show you it first. Okay. Oh. It was at this point I knew I had royally f***ed it up. I was so confident I was going to get it that time. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you the espresso martini flip, but I wasn't able to do it. But here's Roman, the guy who did it the first time, showing you exactly how it's done. Yeah! Fantastic. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Throwing around full drinks is dirty, messy work. I've got espresso martinis all over the floor. There's pina coladas over here. If you want to see more bloopers, behind the scenes stuff and uh, the mess that I made, go check me out on Patreon where I've posted a behind the scenes video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all of you out there. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Go down now, hit that subscribe button and like this video if you like it. I really do appreciate that. It helps me out a hell of a lot. Until next time. See you then.